want me to welcome you and to say to you how grateful they are that you're here to share this magic moment with them. Even if you sweat a little, it'll be a nice time. <laughs> um, to begin our celebration, uh, I want you to meet Jeremy's close friend, Tara, uh, Tara Retson. Tara, here's your mic. We're trying to keep it from the front. I'm going to be doing a quick reading for Jeremy and Colleen from Hillary T. Smith. People are like cities. We have alleys and gardens and secret rooftops and places where daisies grow up between the sidewalk cracks. But most of the time, all we let each other see is a postcard glimpse of a skyline or a polished square. Love lets you find those hidden places in another person, even the ones they didn't know were there, even in themselves. Thank you, Tara. No. Meet Christopher Hansen, Colleen's close friend. Christopher? I'll be reading a poem by uh, Maya Angelou, uh, by an angel. Uh, we, unaccustomed to courage, exiles from delight, live coiled in shells of loneliness until love leaves its high holy temple and comes into our sight to liberate us into life. Love arrives, and in its train come ecstasies, old memories of pleasure, ancient histories of pain. Yet if we are bold, love strikes away the chains of fear from our souls. We are weaned from our timidity. In the flesh of love's light, we dare be brave. And suddenly we see that love costs all we are and will ever be. It is only love that sets us free. Thank you, Christopher. <laughs> I'm gonna stand over here because I have had two cancer surgeries on my hat head this year already. Do you mind if I stand over here? Not at all. It's too bad. <laughs> hey, are you sure you want to go through with this? <laughs> what is this? This is a wedding. It's a time to celebrate their new life together, to party hardy, and we're going to do that. <laughs> Good. You started, started a party already. But it's a wedding is so much more than a party. It's something wonderful that's happening here. Don't let the last minute details and all the stress that go with them cause you to miss the wonder of this moment. Your questioning is over. Your decision has been made. You're declaring your lifelong commitment to each other in front of your friends and your family, and you're signing a license that gives you legal weight to that commitment. By the way, your marriage license allows you 1,387 benefits you didn't have before you were married. So value. This is also a very risky occasion. Given the state of marriage today, the CDC says that 50% of marriages don't last and that 60% of second marriages don't last. So you take a risk when you take a step like this. It's much easier to stay single than to make this courageous commitment. It, it's also a, a dangerous time. You, you, you guys are getting married when the world is falling apart. And with your gifts that God has given you, and with your talents and skills that you've developed, marriage is going to be a lot more than about your success and your pleasure. It's going to be about saving the world from itself. Together, what a powerful team you're going to make in feeding the hungry and clothing the naked and housing those who are homeless, right? <laughs> Clint Eastwood said, there's only one way to have a happy marriage, and as soon as I learn what it is, I'll get married again. <laughs> Hedy Youngman said, the secret of happy marriage remains a secret. We know this. You've been lovers, friends, and housemates for quite a while now. As of today, this all will change. Now, you continue to be housemates, lovers, and partners. But from this moment, you will also be husband and wife. You're still Colleen, teacher, educator, principal of a new school, and you're still Jeremy, um, doctor, uh, you know, surgeon, <laughs> and fiend at beach basketball, or is it volleyball? <laughs> you li your two lives remain individual, but at the same time, they become a new life, a third life, the life together. No longer are just two individuals. You are now a team that works together to achieve the best outcome for you both. Rather than what you wanted as individuals, 
What does it mean to be a husband, Jeremy? Don't let anyone tell you what it means. Husband is yours to define every day, and you will define it in your words and in your actions. Well, they don't tell them, let anybody tell you what it means to be a wife. They don't know. <laughs> you will define that every day by your words and actions. Today you're marking a line in the sand, declaring to friends and foes alike, don't mess with us. <laughs> The options have been considered, our questioning is over, the decision is made, we are making promises and we will keep them. We are taking vows that we will not break. We are together for life. As husband and wife, we are stronger than we ever were alone. So, what's happening here is a new life is being born. Your life together, nurture it, shape it, protect it like you would a newborn infant. Jeremy, become the husband that makes you proud. That begins today with the promises you've written for Colleen. And just because you might need a cue card, <laughs> these are original, they're written by these guys. <coughs> Go. promise to hear your voice, but to also listen. And I promise to love you. And as we develop and grow and ultimately change into a different version of ourselves, I'm excited to fall in love with that person. Colleen, you have a promise for this man too, don't you? Jeremy. You brought light and love and joy and power from the first moment that we met. I love you completely and deeply, and I am so excited to become your wife. As your wife, I promise that you can trust me. I promise to love you, to listen to you, to learn about you every single day, and to change and grow right along with you. I promise to handle every single spider that crosses our path. <laughs> <laughs> and I promise to love you every minute of every day, forever. We want to hear the spider story later, okay? <laughs> <laughs> You've written and delivered promises to each other, guys, but now you're about to take the traditional wedding vows. Vows that can be traced to the Middle Ages, to the Book of Common Prayer published in 1549. It may be old English, but keeping how we make these vows and keep them is new to every generation. Jeremy, would you repeat after me? I, Jeremy, take you, Colleen, to be my wife. To have and to hold, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for rich or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part. Colleen, will you repeat after me? I, Colleen, take you, Jeremy, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for rich or poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part. Now, family and friends, I'm asking you to make a little vow. Are you willing? If you agree with what I'm saying, say I will at the end. I'll cue you. <laughs> will you, family and friends, do all in your power to support Jeremy and Colleen, to help grow and protect their marriage, to love them enough to be honest with them every step along the way? If you say we will, it's because you agree. We will. <laughs> now, do you have rings? <laughs> Jeremy, as you place this ring on Colleen's finger, repeat after me. Colleen, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and of my lifelong commitment to you in marriage. 
I mean, do you have a ring? <laughs> well, what is it? Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that what that was for? <laughs> hey, they've never done this before. Be easy. <laughs> and by the way, they're never going to do it again. <laughs> Colleen, you have a ring. Will you repeat after me as you place it on Jeremy's finger? Jeremy, I give you this ring. Jeremy, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. And of my lifelong commitment to you in marriage. Now, a blessing. I, I don't know why you, why I chose an Irish blessing, but <laughs> the first fight. <laughs> the blessing. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face, the rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Now, by the authority vested me in the state of California, I pronounce you husband and wife, and you know what to do next. <laughs>